Hey guys, Crixley here for Red Carpet Report, and we're at the Paley Center for this. The celebration for The Dark Knight Returns Part 1, which comes out on DVD tomorrow. We're going to talk to some really awesome people, so let's get to it. So, the most important thing that I, I want to know about Dark Knight Returns, and of course Dark Knight Returns Part 2, is you know, you have the source material right in front of you, and Frank Miller has been, like, Frank Miller has been very meticulous about what goes on in those graphic novels. So then when you approach it to, to turn it into an animated series, like, um, are you, were you ever like, uh, I kind of want to deviate a little bit, or did you say just hell no, we're just going to stick to the whole thing? Um, I think one of the things that I wanted to do were, was I want to stick true to the source material as much as I can, but at the same time, you know, there's a lot of panels in there where it's up to interpretation. You know, like, you look at this one panel and you're trying to think to yourself, what was Frank thinking? And it wasn't like I could pick up the phone and call Frank Miller and say, hey, Frank, what were you thinking here? So a lot of times it has to be my interpretation of what that was, you know, and also what fits with the storyline. And one of the main things I want to do is I wanted to make this more of a personal story of what Bruce Wayne is. It's about his journey. That's, that, that's the first and foremost of it. So a lot of times, some of the things that we cut out from the graphic novel were things that were great in the graphic novel, but it would kind of would, would kind of slow the pace down too much that you, it, would, it would almost uh, ruin the storytelling at that point. So a lot, of the, a lot of the choices that we had to make was, would it help the story? You know, it w the main thing is, will the audience empathize with what you know, Bruce Wayne's plight is? Will they understand when Batman shows up, are they going to cheer and think this guy's badass? Or are they going to think that, oh, you know, I was just waiting for him to show up? You know, and that's the thing is we, wanna we always wanted to build up to those iconic images that are in the comic book, but at the same time, still try to look at it from a you know director's standpoint. Where how do, well, would you shoot this in live action? You know, I was I always think to myself, okay, now this is a cool scene, but how would Scorsese shoot it, or how would Coppola, or you know, all these different directors that I love? How do I shoot it in such a way that it feels more live action? And James Gunn actually wrote in Super about, you know, because Bolte was like, oh, I'm so bored. And he's like, well, life is what happens between the panels. And so you kind of touched on that a little bit, where you have to kind of fill in what happens between the panels. So was that a little bit of a daunting task? Were you like, yeah, or were you like, oh, yay? Yeah. You know, what's funny is that, like, you know, the, the, the brilliance that is Frank Miller in the graphic novels, that the way that he's paced it, like the way how the panels are, whether they're big or small, or how it's paced on the page was one of the things that a lot of people kind of applauded him for. Now in film it's a little differently. For myself, in terms of pacing, I'm thinking of it more from a movie standpoint. Like how, how, is, the, how is the music pulsing through the scene? How, what am I building up to? Is it building up to a reveal or is it building up to this big fight sequence? I mean, these are the things that are different because when you're reading the comic or even if you're reading a novel like Harry Potter, you can stop anytime you want. You, you know, you can close the book and go and do, you know, go do your, the rest of your life and then come back to it anytime you want. With the movie, you have to sit down and you have to, it's like a roller coaster ride. You have to just strap in and just hope it's a great ride and at the end you're smiling, you're cheering and you're just happy. And it all has to be done within, you know, uh, 76 minutes or 85 minutes. Oh my gosh, I, I'm excited. I, I've, I've purposely waited until today to come see it on the big screen, so I'm very, very excited. Thank you so much. If you like it, come by and say hello and uh, let me know what you think afterwards. Absolutely. Thank you so much.